What up, that's Num Hits Squad, and welcome back, guys. Welcome Hands boy show. And your girl Mel. Yes. Welcome, S and M Squad. Hell How are yeah. you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day out there, let's see if we can turn it around yeah. with some good energy first, and then we got some good content. Most right? definitely. So, my lovely wife, who do we have today? All right, babe, today we'll be reacting to Sean Diddy Combs okay. has trial date set for May. 2025 is uh -oh. sex trafficking case. Yes, yes, yes. Let's that get this thing started. Let's get this thing started. How so we can get to the did, they get a court, did they get a trial date that uh, fast? So that's, about, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm, that was quick. That's about probably seven months from now. That's quick. That is quick. Wow. But it still got to sit for those seven months in like lockdown 24-7. All right, I'm ready to get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. But first, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Okay. And if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that Welcome. subscribe button. We thank you guys so very right. much. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Developing at five, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs back inside a federal courtroom here in New York. All right, a trial date's now been set for May 5th of next year. Lisa Evers live in Lower Manhattan with the very latest today. Wow. Lisa. Well, Stephen, Natasha, this was Sean Diddy Combs' third time in the court, courthouse you see right behind me, his first time before a new judge. They did handle these calendar matters and also set that May 5th, 2025 date for the trial to begin. But what was most striking was that his mother, Janice Combs, who's been with him his whole life, flew up from Florida to be with him, as did most of his children, in a show of support. Sean Combs' son, Christian, known professionally as King Combs, held his grandmother's hand as they left the courthouse with his other siblings. We want to hear from you. Anything you want to say at this point. Judge Arun Subramanian acknowledged that his mother, Janice Combs, came from Florida for her son and that his kids also traveled to be in the same courtroom with him. Combs attorney Anthony Rico sat by his side throughout the proceeding. He's handling the appeal of his bail denial, which is a separate case in the appeals court. He's making an adjustment. He had his family here today to support him. We really want to put an end to all of the clowning that we see on the Internet. This is a serious proceeding with serious consequences. The judge set a trial date of May 5th, 2025. The lead federal prosecutor took issue with Combs attorney Mark Agnifillo's extensive comments in a TMZ documentary, alleging the government was guilty of racial bias and targeting Combs. Agnifillo complained about government leaks to the media. The result was a mutual gag order. I made a request uh, for the judge to issue what we call the gag order. Uh, and the judge is going to issue it on a reciprocal basis. So um, I'm not going to say anything that I didn't say in my papers and in court. Women's rights attorney Gloria Allred represents some of the accusers of Combs in civil cases and spoke outside the court. It's challenging because for many of them, remembering what they allege he did to them is triggering and traumatizing. Now, a date of December 18th was set for the next status conference. For now, Combs is back at MDC. He's been denied bail twice. His last hope of getting out before that May 2025 trial date beginning is for the appeals court to reverse the bail denial. And that could happen any time within the next couple of weeks. We're live here in front of the courthouse. Let's check in with Teresa Priolo. She's been outside most of the day here. Teresa, what's, what was it like out here? There were so many people out here, Lisa. As you know, you were out here as well. P. Diddy is an international superstar, and so you have to imagine that this is a case that is bringing people from all over the world. We've seen local media here, national media, and yes, international media too, with also a huge showing among entertainment journalists. But we also saw today a lot of citizen journalists that were out here as well. People who grew up on Diddy's music, whose albums were the soundtrack of their lives, and they just told me that they feel like they needed to come down here and to just catch a glimpse of it all. Of course, we know that Diddy remains behind bars at MD but that's not stopping the crowds or the interest in this case. Um, I'm studying forensic sciences, so, and I, yeah, my big thing is women and children, to protect women and children. So when I heard all of this going down, it was, yeah, just the hair on my back just went up. If he's doing things like this, he needs to be in jail. There's no nothing. Daddy needs to go to jail if this is what he's about.
Most definitely. So you might be wondering how the crowds that we saw out here today compared to other high profile trials like Elaine Maxwell, maybe Harvey Weinstein, even Donald Trump. I can tell you, at least from what I saw out here today, this is nothing like what we saw with Donald Trump. But Lisa, I would imagine that as this trial gets closer to its date of May 5th, that we might be seeing some of the crowds like we saw with Elaine Maxwell, people lining up really early in the morning, getting their tickets, trying to get inside. No, Teresa, definitely. This is very early in the whole process. I mean, they just set the trial date today of May 25th. And I think it's going to draw more and more people as we go forward. In fact, the next court date here is December 18th. That will be for the next status conference. But there's a lot of other issues that they have to consider as well in terms of the evidence. The judge gave them until December 31st to deal with all the discovery of the evidence. That means both sides have to have the access to all of the evidence that they have, which is many dozens of terabytes from more than 90 telephones and electronic devices wow. they confiscated during those raids. And then the other thing that was significant about today, too, Teresa, was that the prosecutor said in no uncertain terms and quite emphatically, because uh, everything else was she was very even tempered. She said, make no mistake about it. This investigation is still ongoing and we expect to have a superseding indictment, meaning more charges against Diddy. That's wow. the latest here from federal court. Back to you in the studio. I mean. Well, it seemed like Diddy will not be coming home no time soon. I mean, goodness gracious, if they're expecting more charges, why would more you even people. try to get a bail? Like uh, coming up, clearly, new charges people just aren't popping up. safe with this man free. It's you really know? sad. It's just so sad that um, he turned out like this. I never would have thought it. You know, I I I, I, I thought that he this this is a you know a black um, producer that you know that just give that was about love and bringing people together. Uh, music, good music. Yes. And um, bring in multiple he was branching jobs off, and you know, careers for people clothing line in the community. And he it's had a like, liquor line, and then it was like everything was just going down the drain. Most definitely, it's. <laughs> Very so, huge disappointment for all of us. Not only blacks, was. but like everyone loved Diddy. Like everyone, Americans, um, everyone all over the everyone. world. Everyone, everyone, every really, race, gender, everyone. Everyone was like, you know, feeling him until now. Um, wow. And it's like he everything just came crumbling down. To abuse people. Yeah. And to hurt pe women. Yeah. Not only women, men. I mean, a lot of people. A lot of people was raped. But they want all contracts. the other people who are going to go down behind this. Because he's going to tell. I think it is some more people that's going to go down. Um, yes, to get a lesser sentence, I'm pretty sure he is going to, you know, let them know, like, who else was involved. This is just going to be so big. It's, this, is, this is just going to be history. This is um, history. History is making itself right now. And, you know, the sad part about it is the victims. The victims. The victims. I, whew, my heart is broken for those people who are still afraid to come out. These people are traumatized. Yeah. And it's not fair. It's not right. And if you do the crime, I think that you should do the time. And I feel so bad for his children as well. His children, his mom. Wow. And um, I'm pretty sure, you know, his mom, she knew something. She knew something because she was partying with them. Yeah. I saw a video of her getting a, you know, the IV treatment because she was partying for days. Yep. So I'm pretty sure mom knows something, but I feel bad for her as well. But my heart goes out to the victim and his children. The victims. And it's like, um... You know, once you feel like that you are like untouchable, it feel like you can do anything. So he was just, you know, yeah. just out the he blue. He, he was, God. you know, can't nobody touch me so if I want it. I can have know. it. I got enough money to buy off anything. You but know, you know but what? He said that in his lyrics. He said he was saying. When you go back and listen to his yep. lyrics, you know, he's incriminating he himself. It. Yeah. He's basically letting you know. And these parties, man, he was the he was the leader of these parties. So, um, you know, the court system is going to find him guilty, most likely.
Wow, when you Kelsey. think about the song, uh, We Ain't Going Nowhere, he said he's the definition of half man, half drugs. He said that? Yeah, like, listen to the lyrics. <laughs> well, they, they <laughs> tell you everything you need to know. I mean, I mean, it's sad but true. And um, he, he was saying some pretty, things in the lyrics, though. That is a pretty fast trial date. He did say something about um, telling feds or police to come get me and I'm taking you with me or something, something, something. So, um, it's in the music and um, sometimes you got to put a cap on things, man. You know, he didn't have a cap. Yeah, he, he never just, wanted to turn it around yeah, he was for like, the good. You he know, waited until the feds came and took him down. You yeah, know? so he could have, you know, turned it around years ago. Sad. He could have. He, he could, could have. have. He had a chance. Yeah, he could have. You know, for the, you know, and um, for for that's the why you need of good children. people in your life to encourage you to do certain things. Most definitely. And I think one of the good um people that was in his life was the guy Gene. Um, his bodyguard. He was Most trying to definitely. warn him. He was trying to tell him like, Diddy, this is wrong. Diddy, don't do that. Diddy, this. Diddy, that. And, trying to help you know, him, but look at what happened to Gene, you know? Yeah, right. Um, so I just felt like he was just felt like he was like right under God. No, I think he thought he was above God. Or well, well, maybe above God, like like he could do no wrong. Like he whatever he did is acceptable because he's Diddy. Yeah. And, and then a sad way to live. The kicker with his with his liquor or whatever he was doing. Um, Diageo, a big lawsuit that he had with those guys. And, yeah. Um, it makes you wonder. It's like, like wow. it's like right after that. Yeah, it's like, you know, a it lot was of just like downhill. Had started to be exposed. It was like, you can't mess with the wrong people because these people, you know, this is one of the biggest companies in the United States, in the world. Wow. So I think it was like number 25 or something like that. They was a powerful company. Wow. That, um, you know, so there it is. I just want this. Um, I want everybody to be at ease because right now Diddy is not coming on. So let's go ahead. It isn't looking like that, that, but you know, too many with his money. You never know. Money. You know, with his money, you never know what kind of deal he can strike. I mean, he can't even get bail right you now. You never so. know if he may get a bail within the com upcoming months. All of those assets that he has. Because of who he is. All of that stuff is, you know, confiscated. They they are taking it. They are taking it. And it's like, it's nothing that no one can do. Wow. Wow. Pretty unfortunate to see the children, ha you know, to see them involved and have to yeah. be drugged through the mud. With their dad, yeah. you know, think about the embarrassment, the shame that the children had to encounter with school and just being in the public eye. Yeah, you know, it's pretty. It's just as hard on the kids as as it is on Diddy. Yeah, but you got so many people coming forward, like you know, he did this to me too. He did this to me when I was a child. How is he getting um, a trial date this soon when there are so many more? You know. I don't know. I think this is just the beginning, but the trial is, might take might last maybe a year or maybe longer. I don't think it's going to be like a speedy type trial where it's just going to be a decision. I think this thing is going to be like ongoing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So we definitely going to, you know, um, just try to stay with the news and just see what's going on with him. I know he's locked down 24-7. Um, I, I know he's eating jail food. I, I don't think that he can order out. You know, I think he's you eating never food. never know with his power, right? Yeah, right. I mean, he has gotten away with this for years. Yeah, years. but he's, this is like a Rico Over mafia years. boss type thing. This is a heavy charge, man. Yeah. It's so heavy. Like he's a mob boss. Yeah, it's so heavy that it's like it's no way out. You know, it's no way out. You will have to sit and do some time. Before they even talk about you being out. Most definitely. Wow, so sad. All right, guys, um, that's our time. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And we appreciate all the love and support. If you guys want us to react to any more news, please drop it inside the comment section. All right, link guys. So we can go directly to it. Most definitely. We appreciate yep. you guys. We thank you guys. And we hope you have an amazing day on purpose. Do it on purpose, guys. All right. Be about it. Peace.